Hey everybody, it's Ori again, creating another video about WordPress and actually speeding up WordPress. So uh, let's start. Um, so what I wanted to talk about today is the W3 Total Cache plugin um, and in regards to that, the actual CDN. So um, for the past month or so, I've been very obsessed with speeding up a lot of our sites, our client sites, and uh, getting a CDN is one of the more important things you can do. Of course, you can optimize images and reduce it, um, uh, optimize compressed them images, reduce it files, uh, speed up database, all that stuff. But I'm going to talk about the CDN. So uh, what you want to do is on your WordPress blog, if you don't have the W3 Total Cache uh, plugin, you just go to plugins, login, go to plugins, add new and then install it. So I'm just going to go and then show you how you do that and uh, go step by step, okay? So we'll type in the search box w3 total cache, hit enter, make sure you're downloading the correct one and uh, instead of this installed button it'll say install of course because I have it installed. Um, once you install it you just click on install and uh, wait a few seconds and you actually go to the plugin area and you want to go to the configuration, to the settings. So I'm going to click on settings. Okay, and we're going to go down all the way to uh, CDN right here. Okay, so um, now I'm going to actually go back a step um, and make sure that you actually have an Amazon CloudFront account or S3 or, or uh, any of the, the apps that, that uh, Amazon provides. So. Um, I already have the account here. I'm going to go to my account and just show you this. So uh, basically what you do is you go to aws.amazon.com, set up a, uh, an account, put a credit card in, verify all that stuff. Um, and so you have all these services. Some um, you, you know you may know or some may not. But uh, anyways, let's go to CloudFront. Okay, and I'm actually going to go here. It's much easier. So uh, what you want to make sure is uh, what you need to do in order to go to the next step is create a distribution, which is basically creating a space on your your uh, uh, on Amazon servers, and then you can plug it into the plugin. Um, you can do it either through the console at aws.amazon.com, or you can do it through the plugin. And I just prefer doing it through the plugin. It seems to be a little bit more smooth but you want to make sure that you're still logged in. Okay, so now what we do under CDN, make sure the enable button is there and the type in this case is Amazon CloudFront. That's the one, the CDN that we use a lot. Um, I don't really have much experience with other ones, but you know, they all should work pretty good, I, I would guess. Okay, so we click on Amazon CloudFront and click on save all settings, okay? Um, now, because I, I, we clicked on save, um, now you want to go to the CDN area in um, this tab itself, okay? And um, you want to make sure that you actually try to host as much uh, files and as much information on the CDN to really speed up the site much, much quicker, okay? So I'm going to leave the defaults and you can play around with them. Um, and uh, when you now what we have to do is go to the configuration and we're pretty much finished. Um, so when you register with the CloudFront you get an access key and a secret key. Always save that in a good space and enter that. This is ours and of course the secret key is hidden. Um, the next step what you want to do is just click on create distribution and this is the domain that it automatically selects. You'll click on create and it'll pend for typically like 10 minutes or so. Um, this uh, instead of deployed, the status for the one you're creating um, will say, I don't know, pending or, or something in that sort. Um, and you see origin, this is the one we just created, origin www.promoteseo.com um, and this is exactly what it is. So when we created this, it create distribution, it created it, we, pen we wait a little bit and um, then you can click on test and save and you're pretty much good to go. Um, we did add one more thing which, which we like to do which is adding a C name. So basically instead of linking your files, JavaScript, CSS uh, to the direct uh, CloudFront uh, domain name, so in this case it's you know this kind of scrambled.cloudfront.net, we wanted to have a cleaner URLs and, and you know in the future if we want to um, change a, a CDN provider, it would be kind of easier if we keep 
the subdomain on our domain. So we, we basically created one called blogstuff2.promoteseo.com and we specified it right here. Okay. Um, now if you create a C name, of course you want to go to your uh, DNS manager and this is the GoDaddy specific one and you want to add a C name. So right here what you do, you just click on add um, and then you would type in you know the subdomain name so in our case it would be blog stuff 2 and then you would type in the actual domain name right here this one so this one that we had okay and uh, you click on save and it should be pretty immediate immediate um, they stay up to one hour but it's for the most part it's immediate um, and then you click on save and you go to the website take take a look at it so it just went to one random page let's just click on one of the pages and I'm gonna look at the image source and check it out so yeah instead of the the regular domain we have a new CDN uh, and everything's good so that's pretty much it and uh, just gonna show you one more quick thing just to show how quick the the speed of the uh, images in JavaScript are, are downloading so uh, we like to go to G metrics just to take a look at how fast uh, our website is loading and when I went to uh, a kind of a list of all of the the requests that the server is, is giving to us you can see that the URL is blog stuff .com, and you can see how fast all of these are downloading all of these are from the CDN it works it's very fast it's very very cheap because you pay based on usage so if you don't have a lot of users you're just paying pennies um, if not if you have a lot of users it's still worth it you want your users to uh, get the best quality the fastest you don't want them to, to leave your website because you're slow I uh, hope you enjoy this video and let me know if you have any questions be happy to help uh, thank you